tangents to a circle. In this video, we are going to focus on tangent at a point. You will find this on page 387 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Tangents to a circle. Tangent at a point. A straight line cutting a circle at two distinct points is called a second. If a straight line, so it's cutting, one, two points. If a straight line and a circle have only one point of contact, then the line is called a tangent. So only one point, touching, only touching there at T, so this is a tangent. By the symmetry of the diagram, OTA, OTA will be equal to OTB. So this two will be equal. This is a straight line. A straight line is how many degrees? 180. So if this is equal, it's 180 divided by 2. So this angle is 90 and this angle is also 90. So thus we have the following theorem. An angle between a tangent and a radius, tangent and a radius, that angle will be 90 and that angle will also be 90. Let lo let's look at example 28. In the diagram, O is the center of the circle. Tm is the tangent to the circle, Tm, um, to the circle at A. An angle BAT, BAT is 46. Find angle AOB, AOB, that angle. Okay, so let's start. Angle OAT, OAT, and I want to just mark it for you. This angle. I don't. Okay, let's just do it again. Ah, that's just better. This angle, that one is not good. That is 90. Okay, so if you look at this, so I'm going to say AOT is 90. So this one will be, and this one is 46. So it will actually just be that 90 minus the 46, and that's 44. Okay, and now they are asking me to find angle AOB, so that's 44. Let's just move up a little bit. Uh, AOB, so AOB, it's the one at the center. Now, this two is radii. This is equal, I can show you also with, just using a color, this is two radii. So that is equal. Okay, all radii is equal. So this is going to be forming a iso isosceles triangle. So that means that this angle will just be as big as that angle. So if this one is 44, then that one is also 44. So to find this middle angle, it's 180 minus 44 minus 44, and that will be 92. Okay, then I will look at number B. Okay, number B, A, P, B. A, P, B. Now that is previous uh, properties. Angle at the center, angle at the circumference. So this one at the circumference is half the one at the center. And that what, that's why it's half of 92, which is then 46. Okay. Let's look. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 28 number one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. In the diagram, O is the center of the circle. Tn is, is the tangent to the circle at A. And angle BIT, BIT is 30. Find angle AOB. AOB. Okay, let's start. Number one. So if I look at this one, and I'm just going to use this sketch every time. So don't forget that this angle here is 90. Okay, so let's just say angle. So angle. O A T O A T is equal to ninety degrees. 
okay now then I must find this angle this angle so therefore angle AOB uh, oh it's AOB so it's first no it's not let's not make the therefore first let's first say angle BAO This now BAO will then be that 90 minus that 30, which will be 60 degrees. Okay. Now, don't forget again that oh, this, this is a radius and this is a radius. So it's forming an isosceles triangle. So if this is 60, then this one is also 60. So if I want to find angle... Angle BOA I will say 180 minus 60 minus 60 and can you see it's also 60 so this is not the isosceles this is going to be an equilateral triangle okay and then number B that was number A Number B, angle APB, APB. And now I was just going to say two of angle um, APB, APB will be equal to angle AOB. And what is the reason there? Okay, the reason is angle at the center is okay angle at the center is twice as big as the angle at the circumference okay so then I'm going to find angle so if I want to find that angle I say I'm going to say angle A B B is equal to a half of angle A O B and that's going to be a half of 60 and that's going to be 30 degrees okay and that's how you do it let's move on to another example in the diagram BA is a tangent to the circle BA center O at A AB is 10 AB is 10 CB is 7 CB is 7. Find the radius of the circle. Find the radius of the circle correct to three significant figures. Okay, so they want me to find that one or that one. Okay, so let R be the radius of the circle. So this is R, this is also R. Use Pythagoras theorem. So OB, because there's the 90, that's why I can use Pythagoras. So OB squared is equal to OA squared plus AB squared. Now just substitute, just do your algebra, and then you will find the value of R. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do trinomial 29. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. In the diagram, BA is a tangent. So BA, very important, because as soon as they tell you it's a tangent, you must know that that angle is 90 degrees. Okay, uh, to the circle, center O at A. AB is 6, BC is 4. Uh, find the radius of the circle. So this is R and this is R. This is my 90. So if I use Pythagoras' theorem, that's what I'm going to do there. So I'm first going to say angle um, OAB, OAB, OAB is equal to 90 degrees okay so now I'm going to say that angle uh, or, or line so OB that line is going to be 4 plus R okay. so therefore okay now I'm going to use Pythagoras theorem 
so by fabulous um, theorem okay I'm going to say that I'm just going to move okay it doesn't matter I'm going to try to continue with this beam okay so I'm going to say that um, what is the long one OB so O B square is equal to OA square plus AB square and that's going to give me okay OA so it's R square plus I think I'm going to continue there on top so um, let's just see OB OB was that 4 plus R just going to write this at least um, AB AB is 6 square Okay, um, I'm just going to continue. I'm just going to clean this one here and continue the algebra here on top because the pen is not working so nice here at the bottom. So if I continue here with my blue, I'm going to have, don't forget my square there, so it was 4 plus R square is equal to R square plus that 6 square. Okay, I just repeat that and now I can work it out so if I'm working it out now I'm going to say that this will I'm going to do it the long way or the short way I'm going to do the short way so it's four, 4 times 4 is 16 plus and then it's the middle 2 multiplied 2 so it's 4r times 2 so it will be 8r plus r square And then it's minus that r square minus the 36 and that's zero. So, and this is going to cancel out. Do you see that? So this is just going to be 8r. And this is going, so if I'm going to work with that one, I'm going to just say 16 minus 36 and that's minus 20. So 8R is equal to 20, divide 8, divide 8. So therefore, the value of R is equal to 2.5. Okay. So um, find the radius of the circle. So the radius of the circle is 2.5 or OA is 2.5 or OC is 2.5 or the same answer.